will come to February, the month of love, the month of sadness, and the month of overly priced roses. Really, though, if we set some shop that intentionally inflate the price apart, winter is not really the season for roses to bloom. So the high demand for this flower on Valentine's Day means the more imports and transportation cost. Otherwise, though some roses may bloom in winter in some regions, the strikingly distinct in demand and supply are enough for the price to go up. But why do we put so much love into these flowers that some of us are willing to pay for them? Roses, especially red roses, are prominent in various stories. For instance, in the name of the TV series Red Rose, the red enchanted rose in Beauty and the Beast, and the Queen of Hearts Red Roses. I mean, I find it hard not to find red roses fascinating. Red roses have such a complex set of petals and a nice romantic color, ranging from bright to deep red, and can easily become a simple gift for many occasions or become a romantic god's favorite. So today, we are going to explore the meaning that these flowers hold. Also, we'll look into the legends and myth associated with red roses. Red roses generally mean love. Giving someone a red rose could be equivalent to saying "I love you." Unlike white roses, which mean purity, or pink roses representing grace, many sites tend to regard red roses as a passionate love, which is also aligned with the book. The complete language of flower, written by S. Teresa Dietz. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. A red rose generally means things like beauty, love, courage, and passion. Remember the two books I mentioned in the floriography video: *Le Langage des Fleurs* by Charlotte de Lotu and *Floral Emblems* by Henry Phillips. I have checked those two books out. However, both of them didn't record the meaning of red roses, though. They did record the meaning of roses in other colors. For instance, a yellow rose means envy, though it's more about friendship nowadays, and a white rosebud means a heart of ignorant love. Though I cannot assume that most people think of a red rose as a preset version of a rose. Generally, in *Le Langage des Fleurs* by Charlotte de Lotu, revised by Frederic Schaubel, a rose simply means love. On the other hand, Henry Phillips recorded the meaning of a rose as voluptuous love. Oh, that was for most roses. Uh, sorry. In Henry Phillips' book, roses simply mean beauty. After I've investigated further, different shades of red seem to convey a different message. The book, *The Complete Language of Flower*, listed that. A rose with darker shade of crimson expresses mourning. Moreover, the burgundy roses are noted as a symbol of unconscious beauty or implicitity. Meanwhile, on some other sites, burgundy means devotion. Giving different mixes of roses seems to represent different meanings too. Pairing red roses with white ones means unity. Using red and yellow roses together is best for a celebration. As they mean congratulations, excitement, happiness, and joy. There are two ancient Greek myths that I can find regarding the birth of red roses. The first one is about Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love, and her beloved Adonis. One day, while a boar was goring Adonis, Aphrodite ran towards her lover. And white roses' thorns injured her ankle, turning white roses to red. Later, when she reached Adonis, her tears fell into the pool of Adonis' blood. There, the anemone or wild flowers were sprung. In fact, people might just relate the fiery color of red with passion. Still, with this connection of red roses to the goddess of love story, now I can see how red roses become the symbol of. Beauty, love, and passion. In some versions, however, it was the wine, either from Dionysus, the god of wine himself, or the Cupid, god of love, that got spilt on white roses, dyeing them red. By the way, do you have a story or a myth about red roses or any rose in your culture? Let's share in the comment section. It would be interesting to learn more about them.
One of the most iconic scenes of Alice in Wonderland is painting the roses red scene. For context, in Alice's Adventure in Wonderland book, the card soldiers had planted a white rose tree by mistake, so they must paint the white roses red to avoid being caught and beheaded by the queen. Many interpreted this scene as Lewis Carroll, the author, referencing the war between Red Rose of Lancaster and the White Rose of York. The Red Rose of Lancaster is a heraldic badge of the House Lancaster and symbolizes the county of Lancashire. Similarly, the badge of the House of York in Yorkshire, the neighboring county, was a white rose. These two symbols were known in the War of Roses in 15th century, from 1455 to 1487. The War of Roses started as a civil war in England between Lancaster and York after Richard, the Duke of York, challenged the throne of Lancaster, King Henry VI. In the end, the victory went to the Tudors, led by Henry VII of Tudor. King Henry then joined the two houses together through marriage with Elizabeth of York, as he had the Lancaster line from both his father Edmund Tudor and his mother Margaret Beaufort. To emphasize unity and the end of War of Roses, the Tudor rose was created by combining the Red Rose of Lancaster and the White Rose of York. Maybe that's why, in the Alice Adventures in Wonderland book. The Queen of Hearts can't stand white roses, as the scene could be reference to the war, and this could be me overstretching stuff. But now I think I can see why giving red and white roses together could symbolize unity. Likewise, the UK series Red Rose was named Red Rose because the story was set in Lancashire. The series was set in Bolton, which was previously part of Lancashire before 1974. The rose and the color red were also famous in other classic work, like in the famous folk poem "Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue," or the poem "The Red Red Rose" about passionate love written by a Scottish poet, Robert Burns. Red roses are incorporated in so many symbols from the past to nowadays. For instance, in the UK Labour Party. Or the England National Rugby Union team. It is also the symbol of socialism or anti-authoritarianism, with the colour red representing the workers' blood. When you Google Valentine's rose or Valentine's flower, you will mostly find pictures of red roses taking over your screen. And I know that every single thing literally has its own celebration day, but there is a day that contributes to the red rose specifically. In the USA, some people recognize the 12th of June as National Red Rose Day. Apart from that, in the signs, we can also find many red roses being assigned to someone who is quite obsessed with beauty, whether in a bright and elegant way, or in a deeper, or sometimes a darker tone. So apparently, a red rose still wins the heart of so many people. But despite that, what is your feeling towards red roses? Do you like them, and why? Please let me know in the comment section. By the way, I remember some of you commented in the previous floriography video that you adore red roses. So I hope you enjoy this one. And last but not least, I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you on the next journey.